What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jared. Y'all, um, we all know that after a woman gets divorced or met or gets finished with their baby daddy, they we all know that they're probably still smashing. Now, this is going to be a key representation of why men don't want to deal with baby mamas that just had a damn kid by somebody. And um, this woman is a divorced mom of two, had a had a baby with her ex after they divorced makes over a hundred grand and wants and be a partner make over a hundred grand and be a partner oh i can't wait to hear this shit you ready give me i some am light. we need some light okay hi there hello Hi, can there you hear me? Right yes. What's your name, love? Janelle. Janelle, where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Palm Beach, Florida. Janelle, Palm Beach, Florida. How old are you? 45. 45? Okay. Oh, that's, that's your I, baby? I have a two year old. <laughs> Have you ever been married? I have. When did you get divorced? I've been divorced. I've been divorced since 2012. Oh, okay, okay. Why are you not with the two-year-old dad? Um, I have two kids, a 12-year-old and a two-year-old, and we got back together, and that was a big mistake. But I had my my little two-year-old. So. Oh, so you got a divorce from your ex-husband? Then y'all linked back up a couple years ago and got pregnant again. Yes. Nah, ain't that the stupidest shit I ever fucking heard? <sighs> well, lead these hoes to the fucking birds is all I'm going to say. Why not just yeah. get together? What's the problem? Oh, no. That was a big mistake. <laughs> it's a big mistake and you laughing about it, but yeah, you have a whole two-year-old. Boy, you hoes is something else. <laughs> A big mistake. What do you do for a yeah. living, Janelle? Um, I work in IT. Works in IT. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. So we got Janelle, Palm Beach, Florida, 45 Virgo, mom to a two-year-old, and a 12-year-old. Both by yeah. her ex-husband. So did you have the 12-year-old when you was married? Yes. Yeah, I had her when oh, I was the married. The 12-year-old when you was married, got divorced, and then y'all had y'all two-year-old. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. And why can't y'all yeah. work things out? Y'all got whole two kids together. Uh, he was abusive, so okay. that wasn't good. Was he abusive or was he abusive to your ass? Which one we shall figure out. Because he wasn't abusive to the point where you could, where you didn't want to come back and have a child with him. So apparently he wasn't abusive. Apparently he was abusing that pussy. So, excuse me now? I always want to say, oh, he's, oh, he's this, he's his this. But then you proceed to have another child with him. You hoes got no damn fucking common damn sense. Bring shame back 2024. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll yeah. leave it at that. She works at IT. Okay, honey, mm -hmm. what kind of man are you looking for now? Um, I'm looking for someone that's honest, um, someone that uh, makes over 100K, um, someone that can be a. Makes over 100K, you 43 years, 45 years old, have a two year old, and you over here want a man that's making over 100 grand. You can't make this goofy shit up. Partner and um, someone that's open to traveling and to me having two kids because some people are not open to having, you know, such a young child. Um, and someone that's outgoing. So that's about it. We got to the 100K fast, girl. We got here fast. We did. <laughs> so if he made 75K, should he not DM you? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I like a partner, but you know, I can work with that. I'm 
She don't want to deal with a man that makes that makes seventy k. Over hundred k is what she want is a preference. All I'm gonna say is this: Go back to your ex husband, cause ain't nobody gonna deal with you, ma'am. Nobody wants to deal with you. Go back home to where you belong. Because the only thing you will get out here is a bunch of dudes just want to clap your cheeks. I'm not looking for someone to take care of me. I take care of myself and my kids. So. Okay. And I'm assuming you make 100K or more. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Definitely. Uh, what, are, what are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers are... I don't have a lot of them. Um, <laughs> I'm probably too accepting, but um, probably my deal breakers are someone that is homeless, um, lives with their mother, um, has probably too many baby mamas, um, and that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Homeless, lives with their mother, too many baby mamas. Okay. Yeah. Technically, in a sense, you are a baby mama. Granted, you had a child with your husband, and now then you had another child when y'all were divorced, but technically, you are a baby mama. So, in a sense, I mean, you are a baby mama, and then you're saying that you don't want to deal with a man that's homeless. Obviously, if he's making 70K or 100K, he's not homeless. So that tells me that you were used to doing to a poor caliber of men and you're trying to put that off on all men. Hmm. Um, and no job. Sorry. No so job. Homeless, baby mamas, Liz, it has no job. Yeah, that's correct. Well, girl, you got a hundred K request. I think, I think that you gotta have a job. You gotta have at least a job. Okay. <laughs> um, should he look a certain way? Um, I like to be attracted to someone. So yeah, I think he should be physically attractive. Um, have nice teeth um, and good hygiene. And okay. be over six feet tall. So you looking for a six foot tall um, six foot tall Brandon. So you're looking for a man that's clean cut, good hygiene, um, makes six figures, and a suit and tie. That's smart. That's what you're looking for. And that guy's not gonna probably have any kids because he's busy work. He's been busy working on himself and building himself up. So, okay, Miss Forty Five Year Old Baby Mama of Two. What are you going to be offering that man other than your used up box and a two year old and a 12 year old? What are you going to be offering that man? Because you can't give that man no kids. You're requiring him to make a hundred grand and among other things, be tall, be have nice teeth, have nice hygiene, which is respectable. But what are you going to be offering? Because from what I'm seeing, you're not worth a hundred grand. You're barely worth fucking fifty, okay. or at least so, five eleven. Okay. At least five eleven. You are describing the the most sought out man. A hundred k, six feet tall. Just just so you're aware. Yes. Yes. I'm five eight money. and a half. I'm five eight and a half. So I do want someone that is. That half shit don't matter, ma'am. You five eight. Shut up. At least, at least five eleven. At least when I wear my heel. I understand the tall girls' request with tall men, because most women want a man taller than them. Um, yeah. Let's do the Kendra cam. We already did the money. Let's do the Kendra cam. So I have my two year old here in in my in my video. So I apologize. Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, looks like you're in great shape. You look small. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I love working out. I'm a gym person every day. Yeah, so. baby, two years ago you look good, and then especially now you're baby two years ago. I, I gained I gained almost a hundred pounds when I was pregnant, so oh. I damn. Ladies, I um I'm I'm gonna say this. I didn't know that y'all when y'all get pregnant, y'all gain almost a, a over a hundred fucking pounds. I never knew that. I know you gained some weight, but a hundred pounds, damn. I mean I mean it's just a little bit more loving that needs to take place, but um yeah. I know, I know you I know the skinny chicks be over here, goddamn they blow up like a damn Goodyear blimp. Like, damn. Boy, oh boy. I knew y'all gained, like like I said, and I'm going to repeat it. I knew y'all gained weight. I didn't know it could be up to 100 fucking pounds or more. Wow. Hey, I <laughs> oh, wow. okay. So we got Janelle, Palm Beach, Florida. What was your last relationship? Um... My last real relationship, I would just say my ex-husband. So some years ago. Okay. You don't have yeah. to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um I'll skip that okay. one. <laughs> Three flaws you have to work on. What? Um, probably being what? too kind. Um and uh taking time for myself. I'm always very busy. Um, I work a lot and um, probably spending more time with my kids. That's about it. Spending, spending more time with her kids. Okay. Yeah. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm pretty independent. I know some guys like that. So I'm pretty. A man doesn't want his woman to say, well, I'm independent. I'm this, I'm that. Nobody wants to hear that shit independent i have my own house cars great job um i'm very outgoing i like having gatherings at my house pool parties so um I can just you know i like i love sports I used to play basketball so i'm just i think i'm just kind of that all-around person so okay so we got janelle palm beach florida oh you're 45 what's the age range you would date um i think maybe 38 to maybe 48, somewhere around there. 38 to 48. 38 yeah. to 48. Um, mom to a two-year-old. Uh, and a 12-year-old. Do you want to get married again? I think so. I think I would try again. Could the guy have kids? Yes. Yes. Okay. He can have kids. And she worked for IT, has 100K yeah. or more requests. Says so she could potentially work with a man at May 75. <laughs> I think uh, so. Okay, so have you, do have you downloaded the Kendra G Singles dating app yet? She's basically a nigga in a wig. And ain't nobody buying, ain't nobody getting that goddamn app. Kendra, your app is trash. I haven't. I have not, okay. but I will. Yeah. All right. Make sure you do. Make sure you do because beginning in June, that's going to be the only contact info I will allow. But I know people okay. are still downloading it, setting up their profiles. So, what is your? Um, I'll let you do your Instagram right now. Sure. Nah, we ain't getting her Instagram. Nah, this is the definition of a woman that's not worth the damn. Nah, go back to your baby daddy. Ain't nobody want to deal with you, respectfully. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, and support the com. I will see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.